How do everyone? Only me. Listen, uh, you saw the video earlier on about older videos that getting some more attention than they used to, and I, I thought it was a sign of the times. Well, I want to bring you something right now that I recorded, well, over a year ago, all about council tax, and specifically something called Section 13A, uh, which a lot of people may or may not have heard about. Now, I want to repost this video and bring it back to the forefront, so to, you know, see if we can help a few more people out, uh, you know, out of trouble. Now the uh, channel's where it is videos get more waiting than they would have done a year ago so hopefully we can get this out to a few more people i have to apologize though a year ago i didn't have a fucking clue what i was doing i was not as confident as i come across now and various other things so forgive me for the uh kind of technical aspects and stuff like that but uh hopefully the content itself will be useful to somebody check this out after the intro <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, please subscribe to us. You can do that by the little red square in the corner of this video, the red button underneath or the link in the description. Also, while you're at it, please hit the like button. Today, I bring you a video all about council tax, specifically what you do about it if you fall behind and end up in trouble and you can't afford the bill and you, you know, build up arrears and you start worrying about it. Don't panic, there is an answer. Here's what you do next. Yes, you see the picture that I just showed on this video, section 13A. This is a very unknown rule that the councils like to keep hidden and they don't want you to know about it or what it is. What generally happens, you get a council tax bill, you pay it over 10 or 12 months, whatever your preference, you get another council tax bill the month after. As you know, it's supposed to pay for services the council provide and you can get benefits to help pay some of that bill if you're on a low income. But in both of those circumstances, people can and will fall behind on their payments. What will happen, the council will send you two to three reminders. If you still don't make an arrangement with them, most of the time it's unaffordable because they tell you there's certain rules they have to obey, which means it has to be paid back in a large amount of time you will then get a court summons. I can tell you now that court summons is fake. It, it reports to be from the actual court in the town that you live. But if you find the courthouse and give them the reference number, I bet you they'd have never have heard of the case. If that scare tactic doesn't work, they then send your account off to bailiffs and then they start with the threatening letters, the doorstep visits, and some of them can get quite bullshy. That's another matter and another time for another video. We, you can do something about that as well. Uh, but going back to the matter in hand, you need to intercept your problem before it gets that far. A lot of what the council tell you uh, in public is a load of bluster and bullshit, to be honest. There are ways around it. Section 13A, is basically a set of discretionary powers whereby councils can make decisions outside of the normal chain of legislation and the chain of command. All councils have a Section 13A officer. So if you get into trouble with your council tax, you can write a letter to the council where you are and address it to their Section 13A officer and you can ask them to exercise their discretionary powers and either reduce a large amount of your council tax liability or write it off completely. Yes, that's right. You can get it written off or reduced quite significantly. Just two weeks ago, I had a report of someone that did this and they got their entire council tax liability for the previous year written off plus arrears they'd accrued from the year before that as well. It puts you back on an even slate and it keeps the pressure off. It's that simple. Section 13A and you can get it done. Don't let it get to the bailiffs. As I said, there is a way around that as well. I, I can help you with that too. But for now, 
just write to the Section 13A officer at the council, explain your situation. It could be you run a business and COVID has damaged it severely. You're on a low income and what they're asking you to do puts you below the government poverty line. There's all sorts of reasons why you can't do it and they're obliged to look at. Give it a go. Let me know how you get on in the comments below. I can even put a template letter in the comments underneath and on my website. Let me know if you need that too. And hopefully that will help you out. Thanks again for watching. Again, please like and subscribe to this channel. There will be more content. And I look forward to hearing from you and uh, seeing you stop by and visit. All right. Toodaloo, folks. Bye-bye. Yes, I looked a little bit different, didn't I? Maybe slightly thinner. Not so much under carriage under here and uh, a completely different car and maybe a little bit more on top. But uh, apart from the uh, oddities involved in that uh, very early video when the channel was in its infancy, I hope the content will help somebody. Again, get it shared, spread it about, and uh, hopefully we'll do somebody a good turn. Anyway, I'm off, and I'll see you in a bit. Toodaloo!